At number five on my list, we have Jump Up Superstar by Barnstormer. Maya Pauline demanded a version of this song without the night ice physics. Now this is auto scroll, it's also pretty difficult. It's not super hard though, it's really well designed and the music is excellent. Here we go. Number four on my list is Undertale, Your Best Nightmare by Aura Spear. Howdy, it's me, Flowey, your best friend, Nightmare. Now, if you have played Undertale, I'm sure you will recognise where this is from. It's easily the best level I have ever seen based around this boss. As well as that, there's music as well. Right, here we go.
At number three on my list is FF7 One Winged Angel, a challenging musical platformer set to one of the GOAT boss themes. Now I'm sure any Final Fantasy fan will know where this is from. It has a really cool black and red theme to it, you will see that when I play the stage. The music is really cool plus the platform theme works really well as well. Right here we go. At number 2 on my list is Battling the Broodlings by Cardboard. Battle against Cooperlings masquerading as Super Mario Odyssey's Broodles. This level is basically music to boss battles and it works really well may I add. Definitely one of the best stages you will play that's for sure. Right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Finally, number one on my list is Hopes and Dreams. This is by a Japanese maker. Unfortunately, I can't read Japanese, so I can't say too much about the description. This, though, is absolutely sensational. Another Undertale stage as well, so if you have played Undertale, you will know where this is from. Various really clever attacks for you to dodge, as well as that, there's really good music. It's just an excellent stage. Right, here we go.